if you get three copyright strike here on YouTube, your channel will be deleted forever. Okay, so recently I got a new copyright strike from Wondershare Filmora, the company that I'm doing tutorial video about. I teach people here on how to use Filmora. And also I have a video here on how to download and install any version of Filmora in 2023. So what I do in the, my tutorial is that I show people to go to Wondershare official website. That is filmora.wondershare.com and then go to the support page to find a download and select the version to download and then we can download Wondershare Filmora any version like, like Filmora 12, Filmora 13 or Filmora 10, Filmora 11 or so. Because whenever you upgrade to the latest version of Filmora, we means Filmora 13, and you don't have the license, it will ask you to purchase a, a license or upgrade to the latest version to be able to export your video without watermark. Otherwise, you have to go back to the older version of the software like Filmora 12 or Filmora 11. And that is the time you need to see my tutorial. So that's everything I do in my video. And I got a copyright strike from Wondershare. And to be honest, I have no idea why I got this strike. Okay, by the way, I did send them an email asking them to remove my copyright strike and they didn't reply me. So it is in March 8th, 2024. I sent an email right after I get the copyright strike from their company. So now we need to do the next step to appeal the strike with YouTube and YouTube will send them a notification asking them to remove the copyright strike for my channel. Because you see here, I have an active copyright strike, mean one of three. So now we need to do the next step here, right in my YouTube studio. By the way, if you watch my tutorial, Filmora tutorial here on YouTube, you know that I, I only create tutorial video about Filmora. I didn't do any illegal thing. I didn't show people how to crack the software, how to pirate the software, stuff like that. But I have no idea. Maybe they have a system to recognize tutorial video maker or teacher here on YouTube and they give copyright strike to those people. Okay, so the previous one, I also got a strike from Watershare and they also removed the, the copyright strike for me. And they say that it is a mistake by giving strike to people like me. So this is the second time. If Wondershare you watch this video, just comment below. So I know that it's a mistake. Or if your company decided to give copyright strike to teacher like me or on YouTube, then I can maybe consider moving forward or switching to other software because it is very dangerous for my channel to create tutorial video for for people and the company give me copyright strike. So it is set, okay? So now we need to do the next step here. And then we need to select an action because they give us a strike and remove ineligible for monetization also. So it is very dangerous because they remove the content here from the platform and we got one strike and it will expire in 90 days. So it is a three month period, okay? So now we need to select an action and submit counter not notification here and continue. So I understand the implication of filling a counter not notification and want to proceed, okay? And I want to continue. So I have to give my full legal name here, phone number, email, select my country, street address, and city, state, province, zip code, or stuff like that, okay? Okay, and now we need to click continue. And explain in your own words why you believe the removal of your video was a mistake. So, yeah. So I will write something to for YouTube. Hi, YouTube team. I believe that the removal uh, removal is a mistake because my video show people how to download a software from its official 
website i didn't uh, sh make people i didn't show people how to buy red uh, software please watch my video carefully to understand okay so that's the the message from me by the way youtube would need to send this message to wondershare and they will consider my message and maybe they will watch my video and decide to make and make their own decision to remove the copyright strike for me or not if not then i will got a copyright strike and i will just wait until it finished and to be honest if i got a strike and i cannot remove this strike from youtube or from wondershare themselves they will not remove the strike for my video then yeah i have to make my own decision to stop making tutorial video about filmora and that is the end of the story so that is the end of my filmora journey also so sadly it's true because i have to protect my channel and maybe i will teach another software here on this channel okay but by the way it's just just in case i hope they will remove the copyright strike okay so now we need to click here check under penalty or perjury and check all this box here and also signature so it is my full name okay and now we need to click here submit to submit the counter notification counter counter copyright strike okay okay so after that youtube we got the message and they will send it to wondershare and wait for 10 business day to review the counter notification after that if wondershare just silent keep silent then youtube will recover my video and remove the copyright strike or if wondershare decided to go further they we need to to give some proof or evidence that they they want to keep my copyright strike and we are going to the cost and we will need some lawyers to protect our video okay so now i can close and go back to my studio so this is how you can technically remove a copyright strike from youtube by sending a counter notification to youtube i hope this video is helpful for you and if you like the video hit the like button and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye for now